Hello kids, welcome to your lesson number 11 for the days Thursday, Friday and Saturday, May the 28th, 29th and 30th. In this session, we're going to hear a story named A Big Lesson for Little Frog. And we're going to be working with our grammar book, the one with the orange stripe. And we're going to have fun learning some vocabulary about unit number eight. Are you ready? Come on. Hello, guys. Welcome to our session number 11 named Awesome Animals. We have learned the model verb can and its negative form can't. Remember that this model verb expresses ability and possibility, but we'll review that later. First of all, let's check this video with our friends Freddy the Frog and Anna. Are you ready? Now let's look at some of those awesome animals. Will we see any frogs? We'll see lots of animals. Like this one right here. There's a giraffe. Wow, that giraffe is big. Look at that long neck. Look at those long legs. What's the giraffe doing? The giraffe is using its long tongue to eat. Hey, frogs have long tongues. Where are the frogs? Let me see. Ooh, what's that? That's a hippo. A hippo is a big animal. It has a big mouth and big, sharp teeth. Does a hippo have feathers, Anna? No, a hippo doesn't have feathers. But parrots do. Parrots have colorful feathers, Freddy. Oh, parrots are beautiful, Anna. They are. Look, Freddy, it's an elephant. It's a big elephant. And a small elephant. That's a mommy elephant and a baby elephant. I know. I know lots about elephants. Look, look. The elephant is using its long trunk to eat. And this elephant is using its trunk to drink. You know, I like elephants a lot. That's good. But I like another animal more. Let me guess. Frogs. Frogs. Right. Look. There's a monkey in a tree. A monkey swings from tree to tree, tree to tree, woo, tree to tree. <laughs> wow, that monkey can jump too. Just like frogs can jump. Where are the frogs? Let's see. Ooh, lions. That's right. How many lions can you see? I can see one, two, three lions. Very good. Wow, lions can run fast. What's that big cat? That's a tiger. Tigers have sharp claws and big teeth. Wow, and tigers can swim. Do you know what else can swim? Um... Frogs? Yes! Where are the frogs? They're here somewhere. Oh, that's the end of the video. But I want to see frogs! I know. Would you like to hear a story about a frog? A very special frog? Yes, please! All right, kids, did you like the video? This is for you to review the vocabulary unit, but now we'll open our student's book on page 89. This is the value section, and a value is an attitude that helps us to be better people. Acuérdense que un valor es una actitud que nos ayuda a ser mejores personas. And the value for this unit is respect animals. Respect animals. And it says, it is important to respect animals. Be kind and gentle. Sé amable y sé muy gentil con ellos. How can we respect animals? ¿Cómo podemos nosotros respetar a los animales? And who's this woman? ¿Quién es esta mujer? Okay? 
This woman is Jane Goodall and she's playing with a chimpanzee. Está jugando con un chimpancé, okay? Let me tell you the story about this woman. Vamos a hablar un poco de esta mujer, Jane Goodall. These are the facts you should know about Jane Goodall. Jane Goodall is the world's foremost expert in chimpanzees. She spent 45 years studying wild chimpanzees in Tanzania, Africa. Pasó 45 años estudiando los chimpancés en Tanzania, Africa. Look at these funny pictures. She's trying to kiss the chimpanzee and she's making a picture with it. Whoa. Well, let me tell you. This Jane Goodall was first introduced to chimpanzees when she was a baby. La primera vez que ella sintió amor por un chimpancé fue cuando era bebé. Her father gave her a toy chimpanzee when she was one year old. Su papá le regaló un juguete que era un chimpancé de peluche cuando tan solo tenía un año de vida, ¿ok? And since then, she has dedicated her life to study these awesome animals. Desde entonces, ha dedicado su vida a estudiar a estos asombrosos animales, okay? But this is not the only story we have in this session number 11. No es la única historia que tenemos en esta sesión número 11, because we have another story, okay? This is a story named A Big Lesson for a Little Frog. And I hope you pay attention because at the end of the story, I'm going to make some comprehension questions, okay? Are you ready? Let's listen to it. This story is called A Big Lesson for a Little Frog. Little Frog looks up. He sees monkey in a tree. Monkey says, look at me, I can swing through the trees. Can you swing too? Little Frog says, no, I can't swing through the trees. Parrot flies down to the tree. Parrot says, look at me, I can fly from tree to tree. Can you fly too? Little Frog says, no. I can't fly. Giraffe reaches up with his long neck and eats leaves high in the tree. Little Frog is sad. Giraffe sees Little Frog and asks, Why are you sad, Little Frog? Little Frog says, Monkey can swing. Parrot can fly. You can eat leaves high in the tree. I am sad because... I can't do those things. Giraffe says, But little frog, you can do things we can't do. Really? Says little frog. Of course. Can I hop? No, but I can. Can parrot swim? No. Can I swim? No, but I can. Says little frog. Can we catch bugs with our tongues? No, but I can, says Little Frog. There are many things, monkey, parrot, and you can't do, giraffe. I'm very sorry for you. Please don't be sad. Little Frog is happy now. He hops away to swim and to catch bugs. The end. Good story! What fun, what fun, our story is done! Okay, kids, did you like the story? Did you pay attention? Okay, because these are the comprehension questions. Let's work. Question number one. What's the first animal the frog sees? What's the first animal the frog sees? ¿Cuál es el primer animal que la rana ve? Think about it, think about it. What's the first animal? Yes, the first animal is a monkey. A monkey swinging through the trees. 
a monkey swinging through the trees. Question number two. What's the second animal the frog sees? ¿Cuál es el segundo animal que ve la rana? What's the second animal the frog sees? Think about the answer. Come on. What's the second animal? Yes, the second animal is a parrot. A parrot flying from tree to tree. Are you ready for question number three? And question number three is... What's the third animal the frog sees? What's the third animal the frog sees? Come on, come on, think about it. Yes, the third animal is a giraffe. A giraffe eating leaves high in a tree. Uh, okay, let's go with question number four. How did the frog feel when it saw what other animals can do? ¿Cómo se sintió la rana cuando veo lo que otros animales pueden hacer? How do you think it felt? ¿Cómo creen que se sintió? Yes, it felt sad. Se sintió muy triste, ¿ok? It felt sad. And finally, question number five. What does the giraffe say to the frog? What does the giraffe say to the frog? ¿Qué le dice la jirafa a la rana cuando vio que se puso muy triste? Well, there are many things frog can do that other animals can't do, like hopping, swimming, and catching bugs with their tongues. Le dijo, no te preocupes, hay muchas cosas, there are many things frogs can do que las ranas pueden hacer que otros animales than other animals that other animals can't do, no pueden hacer. ¿Cómo qué? Like hoping, como dar pequeños saltos o grandes saltos. Swimming, nadar. And catching bugs with their tongues. Y atrapar insectos con sus lenguas. ¿Ok? How was it? ¿Cómo creen que estuvo este trabajo? Was it difficult or easy? ¿Estuvo fácil o difícil? I think you did a great job. Creo que hicieron un excelente trabajo. Ok, are you ready? Now take out your workbook on page 65. Saquen su workbook en la página 65. The workbook, the one with a yellow stripe, el que tiene la franja de color amarillo. Ok, page 65. And this is the whole page. Esta es la página completa en donde tienen que estar. ¿De acuerdo? Now let's check the most important part of this page. La parte más importante, como siempre se los he dicho, es el grammar. Y aquí en este grammar tenemos dos conocidos. El monstruo does y el monstruo do. Ya les había dicho que el monstruo does es para singulares. Does a panda have? A short tail? Yes, it does. Si pregunto con does, contesto con does. Este personal pronoun que tengo aquí es para animales o cosas. Y me estoy refiriendo al panda. Does the panda have big ears? No, it doesn't. En negativo es no. No tiene grandes orejas. No, it doesn't. Ahora vamos con el monstruo do, que es para plurales. Do pandas have short tails? Y contestamos afirmativamente, yes, they do. Uso el pronombre personal they porque pandas está en plural. Y acuérdense que they significa ellos. Me estoy refiriendo a pandas, ellos. ¿Ok? Yes, they do. Inicio mi pregunta con do y termino mi respuesta con do. Do pandas have big ears? No, they don't. Acuérdense, uso they porque me estoy refiriendo a ellos, los pandas. Y como aquí es negativo, uso do, n, apóstrofe, t. D, o, n, apóstrofe, t. De la misma forma, aquí en el negativo de doesn't, termino con n, apóstrofe, t. 
¿Listos para poner en práctica grammar? Are you ready to practice this grammar stuff? All right. Exercise number six, read and write. This is what you have to do, okay? Remember, please take your time. Tómate tu tiempo, okay? You can pause this video. Puedes pausar este video to answer these questions para contestar las preguntas, to check the grammar structure, para checar la estructura gramatical, ¿ok? And remember, no monkey business. Acuérdate de no hacer trampa. ¿Ok? And this part number seven is an audio track we need to listen, ¿ok? But we'll do it later. La parte número siete es un track que vamos a tener que escuchar, pero lo haremos más adelante. Primero, vamos a ver qué tenemos que hacer en este ejercicio 6. Ok, it says, Does a kangaroo have big feet? Yes, it does. Right? Yes, it does. Tengo que buscar en la primera línea si voy a usar does o si voy a usar do. Ok, y tienes que completarlo con el verbo have y otra característica que tenga, por ejemplo, un tigre, a tiger, or a hippo. Or penguins or giraffes. No te olvides que estos dos últimos son plurales, ¿ok? Por lo cual ya no tengo que usar does. ¿Qué voy a usar entonces? Ok, we'll check it later. Lo vamos a checar después. Ok, are you ready? ¿Están listos? Come on, let's check the answers. Ok, this is me. Resting a little bit. And it says, Does a kangaroo have big feet? Yes, it does. It was the example. Ese era el ejemplo. Number two. Does a tiger have sharp teeth? Yes, it does. Ok, efectivamente aquí tuvimos que usar does porque estábamos hablando de un tigre. Ok, y un tigre es un sustantivo singular. Ok. Singular noun. Usamos have y lo complementamos con sharp teeth, dientes afilados. Yes, it does. Okay, number three. Does a hippo have short legs? Yes, it does. Okay, remember, you can use, tú puedes usar another adjective and another noun, otro adjetivo u otro sustantivo siempre y cuando concuerde con las características de un tigre o de un hipopótamo. Number four. Do penguins have long neck? Do penguins have long neck? No, they don't. Aquí ya usamos do. Ok, ya no usamos el monstruo does, ahora usamos do, porque me estoy refiriendo al plural penguins. Y aquí lo decidí poner en negativo. ¿Por qué? Porque los pingüinos no tienen el cuello largo, ok? Penguins don't have long neck. No, they don't. Number five. Do giraffes have long tail? Yes, they do. No se olviden entonces de usar estos personal pronouns, they, ¿ok? How was it? ¿Cómo estuvo? Ok, now, let's listen this audio track number 51. Um, this audio is about questions and answers, so please pay attention. You just have to write the answer. Solo tienes que... Escribir las respuestas a las preguntas que vas a escuchar. Please listen carefully. Escucha con mucha atención. It's pretty easy. Es muy fácil si estás atento. ¿Ok? Let's start working. Unit 8. Activity 7. Listen and answer. Then listen again and write. 1. Does a penguin have long legs? Does a penguin have long legs? No, it doesn't. Two. 
Do kangaroos have long tails? Do kangaroos have long tails? Yes, they do. Three. Do lions have sharp teeth? Do lions have sharp teeth? Yes, they do. Four. Does an elephant have small ears? Does an elephant have small ears? No, it doesn't. Okay, guys, did you pay attention? Because we're going to check their answers. Vamos a checar sus respuestas. The first question is, does a penguin have long legs? Does a penguin have long legs? And the answer is, no, it doesn't. Okay, ustedes debieron de haber escrito, no, it doesn't. Right? There's no possible answer. No hay otra respuesta posible, solo esa. Next question. Number two. Do kangaroos have long tails? Do kangaroos have long tails? And the answer is yes, they do. Yes, they do. Question number three. Do lions have sharp teeth? Do lions have sharp teeth? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Question number four. Does a giraffe have short legs? Does a giraffe have short legs? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay, how was it? ¿Cómo estuvo? Okay. Was it difficult? Estuvo difícil? Or was it easy? O estuvo sencillo? Anyway, I think you did a great job. Creo que hicieron un buen trabajo. Hey guys, let's continue with page number 66. Draw a new animal. What's its name? And what does it have? Okay, pay attention. Okay, you have to create an animal mixing some of them like in the example. Tienes que crear un animal, ¿ok? Lo tienes que mezclar usando varios animales. Por ejemplo, esta ranita, Freddy the Frog, ¿ok? It creates... Hace este dibujo, ¿ok? What is it? It's a zippo. And what is a zippo? ¿Qué es un zippo? ¿Ok? It's a mix. Es una mezcla between a hippo and a zebra, ¿ok? Es una mezcla... Entre un hipopótamo y una cebra. Okay, so please create your animal. Crea tu animal. Y ahorita les muestro qué hice yo. I drew an animal named Rain Pig. Yo hice un animal llamado Rain Pig. And how is it? ¿Cómo es? Fíjense bien. This is my animal. Este es mi animal. A rain pig. ¿Por qué le puse rain pig? Because it is a mix. Es una mezcla of a reindeer, de un reindeer, de un reno, and a peacock, y de un pavo real. And its name is rain pig. Su nombre es rain pig. Okay, what did you draw? ¿Qué dibujaste tú? Use your imagination and draw your animal. Usa tu imaginación y dibuja el animal que creaste. Okay, now let's check. Let's check this exercise number nine. It says, listen and read. Can you say this fast? ¿Puedes decir esto rápido? Number one, vamos a decirlo primero despacito. Eleven elegant elephants. Eleven Elegant elephant. Number two, Zanny zebra zig and sack. Zanny zebra zig and sack. Number three, five fat friendly frogs. 
five fat friendly frogs. And number four, happy heavy hippos. Happy heavy hippos. Are you ready? Okay, let's listen to it again. Vamos a escucharlos de nuevo con el audio del libro. Y los van a tratar de repetir lo más rápido que puedan, ¿ok? Por lo pronto, yo voy a hacer los míos. Number one, eleven elegant elephants. Number two, Zanny Zero Zig and Zack. Number three, five fast friendly frogs. Number four, happy heavy hippos. Can you do it faster? ¿Lo pueden hacer más rápido? Try to do it. Activity nine. Listen and read. Can you say these fast? One. Eleven elegant elephants. Two. Zany zebras zig and zag. Three. Five fat, friendly frogs. Four. Happy, heavy hippos. Okay, guys. Can you do it? ¿Lo pueden hacer? Muy bien, vamos a repetirlo una vez más. Repeat after me. Repitan después de mí. Number one. Eleven elegant elephants. Otra vez. Eleven elegant elephants. Number two. Zenny zebras zig and zag. Number two. Zenny zebras zig and zag. Number three. Five fat friendly frogs. Five fat friendly frogs. And number four, happy hippie hippos. Happy hippie hippos. Muy bien. Espero que lo hayan hecho excelente, ¿ok? This is not easy. Esto no está fácil, ¿ok? Se llaman tongue twisters. Tongue twisters o trabalenguas. ¿Ok? Y ahora les tengo una buena noticia. We're going to check the homework. Vamos a checar la tarea. Estaba muy fácil, ¿verdad? Decía, complete the following sentences with the words below. Completa las oraciones con estas palabras que tenemos aquí abajo. Y quedaron así. An elephant has a long trunk. And we match it with this picture. Letter B. Parrots have colorful feathers. And we match it with the parrot's picture. Letter C. Monkeys have long tails. And we match it with this picture. Letter D. Crocodiles have sharp teeth. And this is a picture. Letter E. Giraffes have long neck. This is the answer. Tigers have sharp claws. And these are the tiger claws. Acuérdense que usamos have para los plurales, ¿ok? Half para parrots, half para monkeys, half para crocodiles, half para giraffes y half para tigers. ¿Por qué? Porque todos estos eran plurales. El único que era singular es an elephant, ¿ok? An elephant. Espero que lo hayan hecho muy, muy bien porque estaba muy fácil, ¿ok? Now, guess what we have? We have another new homework. Tenemos otra tarea, otra tarea nueva. Esta es aún más fácil que la anterior, ¿ok? This homework is pretty easy. All you have to do is color the correct answer. Todo lo que tienen que hacer es colorear la respuesta correcta. And at the end for the second part, it says, Draw a little frog doing the things it can do in the story. Aquí tienes que dibujar a la ranita de la historia haciendo las cosas que la historia te dice que ella puede hacer. ¿Ok? Al final la jirafa, the giraffe says, um, you, can't, you can catch some um, insects with your tongue. Puedes atrapar insectos con tu lengua. And you can swim. Puedes nadar. ¿Y qué otra cosa le dice? You remember that? Please make your picture in here. And what about this? Let's check these questions. What's the name of the expert on chimpanzees? What's the name of the expert on chimpanzees? 
Tienes que poner aquí, colorear, cuál es el nombre del experto en chimpancés. Letter B. What's the value of unit 8? What's the value of unit 8? Letter C. What's the name of the unit 8 story? ¿Cómo se llamaba la historia que escuchamos? What's the name of the unit 8 story? La de la ranita, ¿eh? Letter D. What can a frog do? ¿Qué puede hacer una rana? What can a frog do? Easy, right? Estuvo muy, muy sencillo, ¿verdad? Entonces, ya que tenemos lista la tarea, nos vemos la próxima sesión. See you. Nos vemos y por favor hagan su tarea. Don't forget to do your homework and check the last sessions. Repitan las sesiones pasadas para que no se les olvide nada. Okay, children, that was all. I hope you're having a great day and a great week. Thank you. Bye.